I want to do a series of short videos where I will focus always on one problem I ran into during candle making process. Everyone who is doing this craft will run into similar issues sooner or later. I will share my experience and I will try to point out where during the crafting I made a mistake which led me to this candle imperfection. Today I want to talk about bubbles, especially bubbles that may appear during the pillar candle making process. For this demonstration I am using a video which you may have seen already on my channel. Fortunately I was so unfortunate that during my first pillar candle attempt I was able to make three bold mistakes resulting in life lessons which I want to share with you. For that reason I will use footage from the same candle making session, however I will be focusing always on one mistake at a time. Before I even made my first candle, I spent a lot of time doing research, browsing the web, watching YouTube tutorials and reading frequently asked questions. Not many resources are talking about mistakes or go into great detail why those mistakes happen. I read one time that bubbles may appear when you pour cold wax. A standard temperature for pouring should be around 55 degrees Celsius, which is about 130 Fahrenheit, assuming Google conversion is working properly. As you can see right now at this moment, the wax I'm pouring is already showing bright green color, which is an indication the wax is already cooling. I will not go into details why I am pouring the wax in the pillar mold this way, I have dedicated another video for this newbie experiment. However, what matters the most is that I did what I did. I was pouring wax at a lower temperature than I should. Then about two thirds of the pillar mold was stopped up with wax with correct temperature. By doing this, in a moment you will be able to clearly compare the results of two different wax pouring approaches. I will let you decide which one you prefer during your candle crafting. And this is the detail of the candle after 24 hours. You can clearly see the bubbles at the bottom portion of the candle, which was the result of cold wax being poured into the mold. In contrast, we have nearly perfect upper two thirds of the candle. This smooth finish was achieved by doing a single wax pour with the right temperature. I hope this video clarified at least one way how to avoid introducing bubbles into your candles. If you find this video useful, please consider hitting that like button and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video.